How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Two Left Thumbs. My name is Graham. I'm here today with someone new to the channel. Brandon. Yay. <laughs> First time we've had someone new in a long time. Uh, pretty excited to have Brandon here. Literally my oldest friend. <laughs> so it's only a matter of time. Day before. one. Yeah, yeah, we were born on the same day, same hospital, so we kinda <laughs> it's hard to beat that. No one else is there's no one else I can literally say is an older friend. That's cool. Cool to have you here. The tradition on the channel introduced through a series of would you rather questions that you're aware of. And we'll Sounds just good. we'll just go whatever with the ones that seem interesting. We can skip anything that's shitty. Like that one. I don't care about <laughs> that, I'm skipping no. that. <laughs> As a leader, would you rather be loved or be feared? Oh, that one's really serious. Yeah, we're gonna start out we're gonna start out heavy, I think. <laughs> okay. I think I would go love. Leader of like leader of what? Oh, I just assumed like of a country immediately. I was okay. picturing I was picturing like a dictatorship or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I guess why not love? Because maybe also, what if you're like the leader of a band? <laughs> I want to be feared. Um, you're going to go loved? Yeah, I think. You don't want to. People are going to rise up against you. When you say leader of a country and be feared, like what pops into your mind other than Hitler? Or like any ruler that's ever been overthrown for. Yeah, or being... murdered. Yeah, exactly. I guess some have been loved, but. Has anyone ever overthrown someone for being too loved? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't so. think so. Oh. Okay, yeah. yeah. Not a lot of people go in the fear. Could have guessed. If you were Ash, would you rather be stuck with Don, be stuck with May? Well, this is this new gen is, stuff. I don't know these characters. I think, yeah. Where's Misty? <laughs> Where's Misty at? Yeah. Uh, third choice, green choice down here, Misty. Okay, I think I know May. Uh, oh, wait. Sadly, Misty's out because she hasn't been on for a while. There actually what? says that in the description. No one cares. No one cares about your <laughs> new Pokemon trainers. No. I don't know who's who. I don't know who these characters you got are. Misty, you got Brock. That should be the choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, then, then we'd have a real debate on our hands. I vote skip. Yeah, who cares? Stupid one. Kill them both. Would you rather be a dinosaur or be a narwhal? Hmm. I mean, narwhals aren't extinct. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's It's got that going for it. But you know exactly what you're getting here. It's a bit of a gamble with a dinosaur. Yeah, that could be interesting. You could be a really shitty dinosaur. <laughs> you could be one of those things that's like not quite a chicken yet. Yeah, one of those that's just like <laughs> birds haven't quite been invented. <laughs> I, like, I like considering birds as being invented rather than like evolved. Dinosaurs invented birds. This is com <laughs> common knowledge. Uh, yeah, I would say a dinosaur on yeah. the off chance that I got to be something extra cool. Yeah, because you're, you're a narwhal, and then you're just sea unicorn. The ocean seems boring. Yeah. <laughs> There's only so much water you could look okay. at. Mm. Oh, the attacker face a shark attack. I mean, are you in water? I assume so. I assume it means, like... If you're in water for a zombie attack, <laughs> then who cares? Or if you're on land <laughs> for, for a shark, land for a shark attack. <laughs> That's either not threatening or really scary. Okay, we have to assume in that case that both of these creatures are capable of either. Okay. <laughs> so either, so. <laughs> you either have to fight zombies that are good at swimming and uh, good at being on land, okay. or you have to fight sharks that also have legs. Okay. <laughs> then you got to... <laughs> so there's no hiding on land or water. Yeah. You got to deal with it either way. Okay. Uh... I think I would rather face zombies. I think I'd rather face sharks. I mean, well, I immediately assume that there would be more zombies, which is intimidating. Yeah. And but you get I've, turned into a zombie? I've never been that scared by zombies because it, I'm pretty sure you could just like kick one in the chest and it would fall into ten more and they would never get back up again. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I was initially thinking like facing being killed in a shark attack is pretty cool. But <laughs> you I guess a zombie attack is like nobody's ever died to zombie attack before. Would you pick shark attack if you got to come back as a shark? Yes. Is that part of the decision yeah, making? Of course. Here? Why would you want to be a zombie <laughs> over a shark? So in that case, you're you're gonna pick shark attack. Yeah, I'm going shark attack. Okay. Uh, oh. Come well, on. most people didn't think through the all no. the extra <laughs> the extra variables that we read into this. We don't have the same level of thought on this question. <laughs> no. 
Would you rather live in a world where everything is written in Comic no. Sans? <laughs> live in a world where the only music that existed was Call Me Maybe? Fuck Comic Sans. Yeah, I'd pick Call Me Maybe yeah. in a heartbeat. Definitely. I was... A shitty little side story. I was in charge of making uh, t-shirts for like this group thing that I was helping, like volunteering for. And so I made up the shirt and I handed it over to the guy. And he was like, oh, there was a few issues with the shirt. I'm going to have to... Like, the format was wrong. I'm going to have to redo part of it for you. And I was like, oh, cool, man. I've worked with you before. You do good stuff. Like, yeah. do whatever you want. And I really hated the, the design that everyone picked. <laughs> it was fucking stupid. Yeah. And it, I was, like, going to be embarrassed to wear it. So I was probably never going to keep this shirt anyways. Um, but this guy handed back his thing that he had. I, I just told him, go for it. Like, he didn't even send it to me for approval. Because I was like, I don't care. It's probably, probably turned out fine. And when he printed the shirts and sent them to us, he had replaced the font with Comic Sans. <laughs> oh, no. And it was not a secret that I didn't like the t-shirt design. Yeah. And so everyone thought that I changed it <laughs> just to be spiteful. That's horrible. Yeah, but it really it made a sucky-looking shirt look even stupider. I had some professor wrote their syllabus in Comic Sans once. The entire thing? Not yeah. even just titles or anything? No. Did you drop the course? Yes, I did. Actually? <laughs> yes, <laughs> It may or may not have been because of the Comic Sans. Largely, though. Yeah, that was definitely the you're biggest complaint. You're setting a tone for, yeah. the, for the entire semester there. What? I feel like these oh, people are just... The only music ever. I mean, I just saw Comic Sans. I didn't even read the other one. I was just, like, picking this one. I mean, could, yeah, that, yeah, immediately I hated that one so much that I felt the need to to vote. But I was, I was kind of thinking, like, now I'm just thinking, what if... Lord of the Rings was playing, and it's like an epic moment where <laughs> you see like Aragorn, Gimli, and Legolas like yeah. running through their mountains, doing their whole sequence of running. And in the background, it's like, hey, baby, hey, I just met you. I mean, you would only ever need to buy one movie soundtrack in your entire life. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's a savings. Yeah. I think I've only ever bought one movie soundtrack in my entire life. But Carly Rae Jepsen becomes like the overlord of the world. <laughs> Man, she would be so rich. She would have infinite royalties. Literally everything, yeah. Royalties on any commercial, TV show, movie, radio play, anything ever. Yeah. She would actually probably be the richest woman alive. Exactly. <laughs> I'd be interested to see what that world would look like. So you're like. welcome, Carly Rae Jepsen. <laughs> would you rather be a horse jockey or a NASCAR Would you rather driver? drive a car or drive a horse? What? Because this would just mean as my profession, right? It's not saying yeah. 24-7. Your <laughs> only so. option of transport is be a little jockey <laughs> with a horse yeah. or drive a NASCAR. Yeah. Because if you're a horse jockey, I imagine you have to be shrunk. Right? <laughs> well, yeah, I think I think you would have to become a different Well, I guess it person. doesn't say you're a good horse jockey. Right. You're just a terrible <laughs> one. Just a very sad career. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, it's horse jockey parties, I bet you, are insane. Oh, yeah, I Can you guess. imagine a little room of 20 little little dudes <laughs> just getting the wasted in- drunk off, like, a beer? Are the horses invited? Yes. The horses do all the work. Although I kind of do hate horses. Do, yeah, Do I horse jockeys ride full-size full size horses? They do, right? That's the point. You have a little person. Yeah, a, a little horse. person on a big horse. <laughs> They're not riding, like, donkeys. Or like Unless those, those mini ponies or whatever. <laughs> that should be a sport. There should be full sized people riding even smaller mini horses. People, even smaller horses. <laughs> no, I think I think you go full sized people and little horses, <laughs> and then the people carry the horses around. <laughs> the horses are the jockeys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's what I want. I want to be a, a horse jockey, <laughs> where I carry horses, <laughs> little mini horses around. Okay, we given. Take it. Yeah, all yeah. these people, you gotta you gotta read the question here. You can't just you gotta take some time before you answer. <laughs> Too hasty. Would you rather have to learn how to walk again or have to learn about every date in history and why they were important? Oh jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the thing in the walk? From A D to present. Uh I mean people learn how to walk again it all Seems the like time. that would take less time. Take a lot less time. Yeah. The cyborg, <laughs> every date in history is kind of a lot of dates. By the time you finished learning every date in history for 2,000 years, cy- cyborg legs would be... <laughs> they're yeah, already so, pretty advanced. Exactly. Yeah, walk again, of course. Yeah. Who are these people? I mean, it would suck. It's 390,000 people. 
but buying a wheelchair is like also a real option. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. If it was, if you really didn't have the willpower and you just decided to give up, you could buy a wheelchair. Yeah. And just wait for that cyborg technology to advance. You don't have to walk to class to learn about how every single day in history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that just sounds grueling. Oh God. You do you want to read this? <laughs> Would you rather put a toothpick in your toenail and kick the wall? Have paper cuts all over your body and jump into a pool of lemon juice. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, both of those uh, disgust me. Some sadists just make. Ah, uh, I can't. Would I just if I magically suddenly had the paper cuts? That's one thing. If I had to go through the process of getting paper cutted over and over and over again. Yeah, that's true. Which I found out because I never knew why the fuck they were so. Um, painful and it's literally because you're just chopping the very tips of your nerves oh yeah yeah <laughs> you're not doing anything below that mm -hmm. so you're just it so it hurts like a bitch yeah i guess because uh, it's not just that then it's jumping into lemon juice i feel like you're which i mean i, yeah. I guess i've never had lemon juice on a paper cut before but i imagine I if it's in like that question cuts. you have it has to hurt yeah oh it stings <laughs> like a bitch yeah this grosses me out and i don't know if your toe would ever recover your toe no. might be gone yeah but you don't really need them <laughs> i think i would choose this still I though think i would yeah to not have to go through the process of the paper cuts really what if the toothpick just snapped it doesn't say you have to do it over and over again until the toothpick jams its way under your toenail and yeah, then you're maybe fucked. It would just be... and what if it was my pinky toenail yeah i put it in my pinky toenail and then kick it with my like and kick the wall with the inside of my foot, yeah. not the toe part of my foot. Yeah. There, I'm fine. Just some kind of spinning kick. <laughs> yeah, round house kick with your heel. <laughs> You're fine. That's perfect. No, right. no pain. Would you rather eat 20 ice cubes in 90 seconds or forget everything that you did in the past year? I mean, I felt like you've done worse things for subscriber counts than eating 20 ice cubes in 90 seconds. <laughs> You mean that time that I attempted to eat a I thousand mean, marshmallows? I exactly mean that time. <laughs> Although, I didn't have a time limit on myself. That I was eating those things for fucking like three hours. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I feel like that that might be worse. <laughs> um, I can't chew cold things. Nope. It makes me like, it, it gives me like these shivers. It doesn't, it hurts my teeth maybe mildly, but mostly it just like makes my skin and spine crawl and I hate the feeling of it. Yeah. You can buy that like dental numbing stuff mm. over the counter. A real loud preparation. Yeah, how big are these ice cubes? That was <laughs> that was the big question yeah. with the marshmallows is how big are these bad boys? <laughs> I... Let's see standard size. Those are a universal ice cube size. Yeah, I don't really... I don't... <laughs> I mean, I feel like this one's pretty easy. I don't really want to forget everything. No, I yeah, past year. that seems terrible. Yeah. I'm just trying to think about more of, like, the potential consequences or the, the logistics. Yeah, is this, like, an actual thing that people try to do? I don't know. Like, it's like a cinnamon challenge? Yeah. In the event... Uh, this guy didn't write his question very well. <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you rather only have access to YouTube or only have access to games? I'd say games. Games? Yeah. But, like, nothing else. The internet wouldn't offer other services. Yeah. That would suck. I feel like you might just... All your subscribers are gone now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... How dare you? I guess that's... I guess that's, there wouldn't really be anything on your channel. I didn't really think about that for a second, that, like, uh... Yeah, how that specifically would affect me. Yeah, right now you kind of need both of these. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would choose to only have games, though. Yeah. I mean, I bet you I could try and think of other YouTube content and do, like, animations or something. But I would hate to give up all games. That yeah. seems like it would suck. Yeah, I actually yeah. don't watch enough YouTube, which oh. is kind of funny to say. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather have a college or universally named after you or a sports stadium named after you? Uh, sports stadium seems yeah. more lucrative. I guess. You oh. might seem smarter. If you have a college named after you. Ooh, that's true. If people ask you, like, oh, which college did you go to? And you'd be like, 
Graham named <laughs> after me. <laughs> the way people will just say like Brown or whatever. Graham University. Graham University. Although it would definitely be my last name, but my last name is actually just Graham as well. Yeah. So. Until it gets just the <laughs> shitty reputation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you went to Graham? <laughs> <laughs> that that would actually be kind of terrible. Yeah. I would rather have, even if it was like a terrible sports team, like if they were the Graham Blue Jays and they had like a 3-14 and 14 record or whatever it yeah. was, at least you could say next year maybe they'll <laughs> rebuild and they'll be a bit better. And I have to imagine you get free season tickets. Yes. Oh yeah, I would vote sports stadium. Yeah, How about sports you? stadium. Okay. <laughs> There's too many, yeah. too many potential life consequences. <laughs> <laughs> A ten-year-old asking these questions. I don't know. Like, that one's kind of funny, but at the same time, I don't <laughs> like. What do you want me to say? Would you rather eat your hands and feet or eat your whole dad? <laughs> your whole dad. <laughs> yeah. They, they didn't want to say eat your dad whole or eat your dad's whole. <laughs> Both of those would be yeah, very different things. It's been carefully worded. Eat your whole dad. Oh, there's a description. If you have to ask, yes. You would get help eating your own appendages. Okay. Assume your father is recently deceased. Oh, so oh. I don't have to. I don't have to kill my yeah, dad. Yeah, you don't have him. to eat him alive. And I could feed my hands and feet to to other people. You don't have to eat it by yourself. Okay, I assume that that meant that somebody oh, I else see would be means. feeding you. Oh, yeah, that is what that means. Yeah. That, now that I reread it, you would get help eating. Not yeah. I. I read it as someone would help you eat. <laughs> Don't worry, you don't have to eat that whole foot. Ew, gross. I don't want to eat it. Yeah. Someone else someone else, come in here and help me out with that. I would... This one sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... <laughs> uh, gross. I, think I, I don't think I could live with the thought of eating a 200-pound person. Because it would take, yeah. like... Like, my grandpa was a farmer, and if he ever killed a cow, he had to give meat to, like... You know the whole family, and yeah, so we would, would we would end up with a deep freeze of fucking one tenth of a cow or something. You eat that for like a year. Yeah, it it takes forever. A full person, it's not like it would take you forever. I'd rather eat my hands and feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can, I can live without hands and feet. <laughs> Cyborgs, they're they're coming. <laughs> yeah. The future is just the answer to all these I questions. I could just become a nice early cyborg, like yeah. Inspector Gadget or something. <laughs> With this a one nice again? A nice early cyborg like Inspector Gadget. <laughs> they really they really needed us to. <laughs> they, I don't, they, the, the game must feel that we didn't consider you know what, all our choices. maybe again. Let's just balance this out a little bit. <laughs> there we go. It really felt like we didn't weigh all our options. Yeah. you gotta, you got to do that again. Section of your ear bitten off. Oh, or during front during a rowdy boxing match. There's I a bit more to that there's... one. It's not always just would you rather. Um, I went through too much dental work as a kid to lose my teeth. I'd actually rather someone bite my ear really? off. Really, I've, I've went through like none. So <laughs> I don't. I don't have any like. You have no attachment to your teeth. Yeah, like, get them out of there. You get cyborg teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what section of my ear is being bitten off? <laughs> uh, I think the top, like this guy. Okay. The the not hearing part. Yeah, I guess you could cyborg that up too. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime there's a question that results in losing an appendage or anything, you just become a cyborg. Yeah, so. it's the easy answer. You, which one are you going with? Uh, I get my teeth out of there. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't <laughs> give a shit. Uh, we'll find one more that looks worth answering, maybe. Okay. Man. Ooh, horrid or compulsively clean? I for a second I was like, that's not a sentence, but that's almost interesting. I think I tend more towards a hoarder. Yeah, I probably do too. I definitely don't compulsively clean. I like tidiness, but I definitely keep things I shouldn't. Yeah. I think I would rather compulsively clean though, because like the minor amount of hoarding tendencies that I have suck. Because I hate <laughs> whenever I want to like move or anything, I'm like I have fucking so much stuff. Like, yeah, that's true. It's garbage. Why do I have any of this? But I better pack it all up and bring it to my yeah. new place just in case. And I imagine if it's saying hoard, it's like great like the volumes of garbage yeah. versus like just complete cleanliness at all times, which I guess it's probably better. I mean, if you go out to eat at a restaurant, are you compulsively, like, cleaning your, your plate after you go in the kitchen and, and all of a sudden you just get a job? Yeah. Hoarding, you can at least get on TV. Oh, uh, yeah, there's that. There's that appeal. I'll, I'm, I'm going to vote clean. Yeah, I think it has to be clean. It has to be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I think People that's... People are reasonable for once. There is... 
we skipped a lot of shitty questions. There's more shitty questions on here than I remembered there being. <laughs> Some of these were really fucking dumb. Yeah. And so I think that's all that's all we're gonna do with that. We haven't decided what we're gonna play no. on the channel, so stay tuned. We'll have uh, options. Teaser. <laughs> Teaser, yeah. <laughs> It may involve cyborgs. <laughs> Hopefully. Now it has to. <laughs>